Welcome to Port of Mars, the first human community on the Red Planet. Mars is a dangerous and hostile planet. You must find a way to survive and thrive. You have two objectives. One, keep the community alive by keeping system health from reaching zero. Two, earn points by purchasing accomplishments. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. You will play as one of five characters on the first human community on Mars. Researcher, entrepreneur, politician, pioneer, or curator. You must acquire influence to purchase accomplishments, which will earn you points. There are five types of influences. Science, finance, government, legacy, and culture. The game progresses in a series of rounds, each consisting of six phases. Each round you will receive a set of time blocks. You can spend time blocks on system health or influence. Influence is what you use to buy accomplishments. If system health falls to zero, the habitat collapses, everyone dies, and the game is over. No one wins if everyone is dead. Port of Mars, Anatomy of a Round. One, new round. In this phase, you will receive a report on system health. The game begins with system health at 100, representing the peak well-being of the habitat and its resources. At the start of each round, system health drops by 25 points. This is due to normal wear and tear of the infrastructure and consumption of resources. Once you've read the report, click Ready to Advance. Phase 2. Events. In this phase, an event card is revealed. Mars is a dangerous and uncertain environment. Expect the unexpected. If system health falls below 65, two events are revealed. If system health is below 35, three events are revealed. When you're ready, click Ready to Advance. Phase 3. Each round you receive 10 time blocks. In this phase, you invest time blocks in system health or in influence. One point of system health costs one time block. Influence costs either two or three time blocks, depending on your character. There are two kinds of influence your character cannot purchase. Use the chat to plan investment strategies with other players. Once you're satisfied with how you've invested your time blocks, click Ready to Advance. Phase 4. Trade. In this phase, you may trade influence with other players. To initiate a trade, click Request Trade. Select who you wish to trade with, what influence you want from them, and what you will offer in return. When a trade is offered to you, choose to accept or reject it. Use the chat to plan trades with other players. Once you've finished trading, click Ready to Advance. Phase 5. Purchase. In this phase, you may purchase accomplishments. You will always have three of these available for purchase. Each accomplishment is worth a certain number of points and costs a certain number of types of influence. Some accomplishments don't cost influence. Instead, these accomplishments subtract a number of system health points. Once you've finished with your purchases, or if you aren't making any purchases, click Ready to Advance. Phase 6. Discard. In this phase, you may discard up to three accomplishments you don't want to keep. If you discard any accomplishments, you will receive new ones at the start of the new round. You will always have three accomplishments available for purchase. After Phase 6, a new round begins. The game will continue for an unspecified number of rounds. The player with the most points at the end of the game 
wins.